And sadly, we're now coming to the last part of today's third and last day of talks at DjangoCon, the closing event. Thank you very much for attending DjangoCon Europe. That's it for today. That's it for our talks part, but we're not over with the conference. Tomorrow and Sunday, we'll have our workshops and sprints at Dezernat 16. We will start out in both days at 10 a.m. and we'll will do until approximately 6 p.m. Daniele previously already like, told you in more detail than I ever could what a sprint is and what it is for, and we would be delighted if you would join us. This time we have a map that is actually correct. I checked today. The central station is here, and the, the sprint venue is even closer than the party, and there's no construction sites in between. So um, it's just a very short walk over there. Depending on the tram or bus you take, there's also the station Betriebshof over there um, that is just as close. Um, I, we also uploaded the map to the website again, and the address for Google Maps is also at the web, on the website. Right. Um, as with every presentation, I want to mention the code of conduct that does not stop applying just because the talk stopped. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank, uh, thank the whole rest of the code of conduct team, um, which did an amazing job. I'm really happy we were able to work with you so good. And it was a pleasant experience being a code of conduct team at this conference. So before we let you go, we want to share some numbers with you about this conference. In total, we've been 399 humans attending this conference. We had during our call for participation 132 submissions, of which we chose only 29 talks, sadly, due to time constraints. Thank you, everybody, who submitted a talk. Speaking of time constraints, all talks appended together give 19 hours and 20 minutes of recorded video content. So if you all want to watch it again, you just need to take a day off. <laughs> Um, our very, very wonderful video team took as a medium time bec between the end of a talk and the release on YouTube one hour, uh, one hour and ten minutes, which is just plain amazing. The videos had 1,000 views already online, which we think is, is pretty great. Right, and we had a peak of 124 stream viewers in the live stream at the same time, which is also really cool, and we thank all live stream viewers. Bartek, who's joining us for many years to take wonderful photos of the conference, has clicked on his camera 2,800 times by now. Um, and the photos will be released a few weeks after the conference. We had the party yesterday where nearly everybody came and our DJ played 15,360 beats. Thank you so much. In the breaks, we had some very, very good food and beverages and everything else. And we could have filled 1.98 typical bathtubs full of coffee with what you drank. Speaking of which, we would have needed 1.27 average European cows uh, for the milk consumption that we had at this conference. Whoa, moo. <laughs> Speaking of the party, we had a birthday cake. The birthday cake had 5,000 kilocalories in total. <laughs> Good thing we made really small pieces. 
we had 470 devices uh, as, uh, uh, connected at the same time as a peak to our network and 717 in total. So the network held up really great. In total, you used the network to transfer 280 gigabytes of traffic through four uplinks. The most traffic by far is from the back left of the main room. So we're wondering, what's up with the right part of the left? <laughs> what were you doing? Right. Uh, <laughs> we want to thank you all for attending because DjangoCon couldn't... You've been, you've been the most amazing attendees we could wish for, but there are also some other groups of people or institutions that we really wanted to thank. First of all, thank you very much, GoDaddy, 3 Your Mind, JetBrains, Pesla, Nexmo, and all our other sponsors. We had so many of you and working with you was a pleasure and we couldn't have done this conference in such an amazing and accessible way without you. We are incredibly thankful for our venue to host us. Everything here in the venue has worked with us in a professional, friendly, and really, really helpful way. The technicians behind and in front of you, um, the people at the entrance, the people in the, um, in the other departments that we talked to, and uh, we are really, really thankful for that. As a part of the venue, but a very special part, we want to thank our catering services who did an amazing job to not only provide food for nearly 400 attendees, but also be ready whenever a speaker decided to run over or under time and be generally as helpful as we could have wished. We also want to thank Halle 02, the venue who hosted our, that posted our party tonight, uh, last night, uh, <laughs> uh, which was really, really great. Thank you all for attending the party. Yet again, and I can't stress this enough, thank you, Andrew and Cheryl, for your great, great speech-to-text service, and thank you, DVU, helping us provide the service to all of you. We want to also thank Natalie, a friend of ours who came up with a great conference logo and design. And if you look at the signs around the building, most of that is her handwriting. So she wrote like a huge number of strings for us to put them on signs and on presentations and everywhere. And we were really, really thankful for that. We, of course, want to thank all of our speakers and workshop tutors because the conference couldn't exist without you. And you did, all of you, all the speakers who were already on, an amazing job. And I am very sure that the workshop tutors will do just the same in the coming days. Thank you very much, Bartek, for being with us for so many years and for making great and wonderful photos of the Django conferences. We also need to thank the previous organizers of previous DjangoCon Europe's and other DjangoCons because they share resources online and also where helpful whenever we contacted them with questions like, is it normal that nobody actually submits a, a submission to our call for proposals? And they were like, yes, of course. They will do that on the last day. And yeah. it, it turns out you did. But, and we also thank the DSF for advice and information and working with them was a pleasure.
And yet again, thank you very much, the C3 VOC crew, for recording and streaming our talks. They're waiting here. Could you please come up on the stage for a minute? We also want to thank Leah and Christian, Come. I see you there, I see you, um, who built the network and tended to it whenever something went wrong and did amazing work. Thank you to the many volunteers who helped with session sharing, DJing, operating the help desk and the cameras. If you're not operating the camera right now, please come on stage. <laughs> Katie, that includes the session chairs. Yes, it does. Is Raphael still there? Come on. It's yes, we <laughs> meant... <laughs> We also want, or I want to extend my thanks to all of the team because working together was a lot of fun. Building a DrangoCon like this is a lot of effort and a lot of work and working with you all was amazing. So please join us on the stage. We hope. So we hope very much to see you in 2019 somewhere. I'm going to. I'm going to have to interject for a moment. To Australia. So I'm going to interject for a moment because there are there's, We did actually forget someone on the slides uh, because, as you know, or as you might not know. Uh, Organizing a conference is a very intense effort. If you don't know that yet, this is a good opportunity to remind you that the DSF is looking for proposals for next year. But with this in mind, I would like to uh, thank two special people who, have, who are basically the reason any of us are here. They have pulled this project from the start, made the initial proposal. They have done a tremendous amount of the work involved in the conference. And I speak for all the other organizers when I say that we're very grateful to have had the opportunity to build this with you and very grateful for all your hard work, all your empathy, all your support. And so I would like to have a special applause for our unofficial conference chairs, Tobias and Raphael. Thank you. 